Warning, the following video contains violence, gore, and other major stuff you have been warned. Early the next morning, Satop had sent Henry and Fluttershy to the mainland to cruise scrap yards for the cars to cut up the scrap metal so that they could be melted down and use it again. Henry and Fluttershy arrive at cruise basement. Henry looked around and saw steam locomotives and ponies lined up. Some of them were faceless, showing a smoke box door, while others had face and were begging to be saved and taken to Soto. Flash and Henry felt sorry for the poor wretches that were left to walk. I know I heard stories that steam engines and ponies were being turned into a cupcakes. It's really said a steam locomotive and ponies life away to Henry. I know Flash I it's very terrifying to see your steam locomotive to be cut up. In a very scary way that is. As Henry and Flash I went to the scrap yards further, we heard an unfamiliar voice with a deep tongue. Hello? Is anybody there? Who said that? I know Flash I. It came to the designers over there. Henry and Flash I went to the site where the voice came from. An engine was an LMS Black 5, just like Henry, except his cylinders were gone, and his buffers were missing, and some parts of his spoiler and smoke box and buffer base were covered in blood, and his face was filthy, covered in blood and dirt. Then when some tank engine decided say, junk, scrap, or die, and useless, the engine's boiler has the word cupcakes and useless on the side of the boiler. The old engine spoke. Whoa, guess you've been here before, huh? Who are you? Well, I... Well, I was never given a name, actually. Only a number. 45293. Are you Fluttershy? I'm Henry. You look just like me! I think this is one of your sibling, Henry. That's because I am your brother, Henry. Flash I and Henry explains to 45293, back the old days, Henry was the fair hybrid of the LNA A1 and the C1 Atlantic. Once they finished, 45293 was very confused. Look, kids. I don't even know what you're talking about. Henry, you were sent to Cruise and you will rebuild as a Black 5. And that is true. But I saw another engine on the sidings. What are you talking about for 5293? <coughs> Henry, did you hear that whistle? Yeah, I did, Flash Eye. Henry and Flash Eye headed off to the find out where the sound came from. While they looking around, they found more dead ponies and all the locomotives were still alive, waiting to be cut up. Henry and Flasher mourned of the lost their engines were being scrapped and the ones that already dead. I'm very sorry you had to be turned to cupcakes by old steamers and ponies rest in peace. My mister and my sis cupcake made the oven down in their basement. They are Pink and Pink's firebox oven, Flasher, but she doesn't want to be disturbed. Yeah, I guess you're right, Henry. Henry and Flash are soon arriving when the LMS Jinty engine was already faceless. Henry looked at the engines next to it and gasped. Sitting right next to the LMS Jinty was an old engine. It was rusty, to the point you could still see his paintwork. When Henry looking at the engine's paintwork, he had a bright green. And the engine was a 460 rear configuration of the L and the R A1 and the C1 Atlantic specifically. But then Henry looked at the engine's face. It was filthy, covered in blood and dirt, all the parts of the elements of the other bone ponies. And then Henry thought. Why is an engine be way to be turned into cupcakes? It kind of leave Henry, but then 
Henry noticed the engine's tender. Henry could make out a large number three on the side of his tender. and hard and shocked. That's what he was looking at. Flash eye trying to get words out of Henry, but Henry was too terrified to speak. Flash eye trying to talk to the engines. Oh, are you okay? And then Flash eye noticed an engine's tender. No, no, it can't be this. Is that you, Henry? But as Flash eye could say anything else, the engine went out the ear person loud and scream. Starting out of the basement after what they just saw. When Henry returned to tip the shed, he's been quite a state. Henry, are you okay? I don't know. Just then, Edward arrived. He saw the tears looks on Henry's face. What happened, Fluttershy? It's worry, just see you just like Henry and his old sheep. Hmm. I think you saw the cupcakes of Henry's past. Edward, are you saying you saw the cupcakes of Henry's past? Yes, Flusha. After Henry was rebuilt, or what I know, his old book about his son is turned to cupcakes. But many people say that Henry's old book about his son's spirit still wanders cupcakes' basement, trying to find peace and move on. That's what I hear from what Henry told me after he returned from crew. I'm really gonna need a few days off after this. I will take care of Henry on his few days off at work. That's very kind of you, Flushai. For the next few days while Henry was having to stay off, Flushai comforted him. Know that you are scared from a live Henry, but look at the bright side, you are still a live. I know, Flushai, but... When I told Edward my old locomotive design was turned to cupcakes, I thought that memory of my old locomotive design coming back to life as a ghost, I thought that many would be forgotten. I guess I was wrong. It's okay, Henry, I'm here for you. Thanks, Flushai. Flasha has knew that Henry was sent to cruise for repairs, but he knew that some engines had lost their lives there. Flasha knew Henry was rebuilt, but now she finally learns the truth. Flasha could deny that she and Henry had saw the cupcakes of Henry's pants, but Flasha knew that Henry was not sent to find place for sick engines. Some engines were saved at crew, others were scrapped. And Flush I feel sorry for Henry for what she had gone through. I hope so too, Flush I. I hope so too. Henry now knew the crew was out cupcakes yard and a repair yard for fixing engines that were sick. But Henry knew one thing. He wasn't sent a fine place for sick engines. <laughs>